All you have to do is know how to read, and it will really help you in life. And reading is, is good for your imagination and your mind. I've got accepted to four uh, magnet schools. Reading really helped me. Whenever I'm reading, I feel like I'm in I'm in the book and the adventure. It opens my imagination. Like we really wanted to find a project that we were really passionate about, and it did have to do with youth. And some of the people on our team were really passionate about it, and they showed us how we could connect the dots. It's something that empowers youth, mm -hmm. and I felt that's something important that Miami has to like really focus on because a lot of kids are left behind. This was an opportunity which I was so fortunate to have that we work on this project because of its integral relationship to all the other problems that are being addressed by nonprofits. It starts with a few people with a mission and they go out and, and you know, they just support it and they rally people and, and bring people together around a common issue. So you, you realize that these things and these movements and these changes and these developments and um, the successes that we've seen so far they all happened because a couple people got together and decided to, to start a movement. We started with something that we know is a problem, early childhood literacy. And you know that early childhood health is an issue, and you know that early childhood homelessness or homing issues are a problem, but you don't realize that they're all interconnected. You're diving deep into early learning, and as we're doing that deep dive, we're talking to people who are saying, oh, we're working with early learning and health because it's important for parents to understand that part of your mental health is knowing how to read. Just working and doing community service for an hour every week, you're not gonna get that kind of insight unless you're doing that deep dive. I think that's something that leadership gives you that you might not get elsewhere. It is all over our community and country. And these kids at age three are in disastrous shape. We need to figure out how to interact far more with parents and caregivers. How do we best educate and work with our families that those five minutes that they do spend with their child are quality minutes making a difference? In Miami, you know, visual art is the cool and sexy thing. We have to go back a little bit to valuing books and literature in our community as a whole. We are supporting the Center for Writing and Literature and their Read to Learn Books for Free program. It has distributed 200,000 books to children who don't otherwise have access to their own books. This is an initiative to help early childhood literacy and we will be celebrating Accelerate Literacy and the Center at a Capstone event in April and we're looking forward to our friends and supporters including the Marlins and the Marlins Ayudan being there with us because without you guys we wouldn't have been able to make this 9,000 book donation come true. My name is Rebecca Campos. I'm a fifth grade gifted teacher at David Lawrence Junior K-8 Center. And this is my class. Hi! Hi. 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 Reading is important at a young age because by the time they get to my grade, there is a disparagement between what they should know and what they could know if they were early readers. And I find that all my early readers are the students that are more vocal, more confident, and overall they're better in all subjects, not just you know the reading and the language arts. In about two and a half weeks, um, for the whole school, we collected 1,560 books. Pretty amazing. Reading Rock! My name is Sebastian Lindon from the Center of Writing and Literature uh, in the Read to Learn program at MDC. We're really excited to have all these books. Reading Rocks. We are here today to be recognized by the school board they are recognizing Leadership Miami and they're also recognizing Accelerate Literacy. We are well on our way to raising 10,000 books by March 31st and the students here of Medias Elementary School, it's an A school. They're fifth graders here and they're telling us why reading by third grade was really important to them. Do you know anyone who struggled with reading? Uh, lots of people. It's better to read and actually get to understand what the real world's like. Reading rocks Miami! The event today was actually phenomenal. We were able to touch a lot of kids' lives uh, when it comes to reading. It's one of the things that we are definitely trying to do in this community. Uh, we've always been able to tackle the health and well-being aspect and getting them out and getting them fit. And for the first time today, um, I was able to see families actually enjoy watching their kids uh, reading and learning um, letters and actually watching them and the storytelling that was done. Um, it was a phenomenal job and I think that uh, Today, we really definitely left an imprint in the Alapata community. Everything was fun, and this was an amazing place. I want to do this again. Reading!